Okay, Kyle. Um, tell me about your Stingray. How long have you been flying the Stingray? Um, how long have I been flying it? I don't know, a few months now. Um, it is just a blast to fly. It just, it's, uh, it's really easy to control. Um, you can just explore anywhere. You can fly nice and slow or you can zip between things. Um, it's a lot of fun. Nice. So the Stingray is in most of my videos. This is my favorite FPV platform. Super simple to build. You only use two servos and it takes a 2200 kV motor with a six inch prop. I've been using it for years. One of my first videos I ever posted on the internet on YouTube is of the little tiny Stingray and uh, just a blast to fly. And as I got into FPV, I always wanted to fly it with a camera. So this is the with a, it was designed for a 2200 size battery and to be able to carry the weight of a camera in the camera gear. In here, I'm using the Q-Lite OSD just to give me the on-screen display data so I can have my battery voltage, my altitude, and the home arrow as well as my ground speed and my distance from home. I do not use a flight controller on this. Uh, it, for the type of flying I'm doing, I, I want to be able to have instant response. So I am not using the flight controller in, in, or any pass-through. I'm using the, the Vista unit or the Runcam light. These are the DJI compatible for the original FPV goggles. I'm using the TBS Crossfire with the 900 megahertz receiver. I use these on a lot, of, a lot of things. been using those for a long time. 30 amp ESC with a 3 amp BEC and the MG90D digital servos. They're really smooth, pretty good for this size of platform and very pleased with their performance. And that is the basics of the, the Stingray. One of the other important parts is everybody asks, well, where is the CG? Since you've got such a long lifting body, on this thing all the way from you know here your CG envelope is very broad you can get your CG anywhere in this area right here I just look at this pocket part of the KF airfoil and if you get it within about two inches in here you're gonna be good you balance anywhere in there it's gonna fly um, as you get flying, you might want to just start moving it back a little further until it, it just gets real floaty. That way, when you, when you add power, you no, typically will notice that you go full throttle, it's going to want to climb a little bit. You lower throttle, it's going to start to drop the nose. And then when you're in, you go inverted, you'll have to apply a little bit of forward pressure. It rolls fairly axial, but you will get a little bit of a barrel in the roll action. The Stingray is also all fully available on the printables as well as the PDF and the tiled PDF where you just print print out it on paper, put it on foam board, and you can build it. This one's built out of Depron with a lot of extra carbon fiber. I need to talk about the carbon fiber a little bit. When you look at the bottom here, you get, I run a piece of carbon underneath the motor mount from here to here. That way if there's pressure pulling, uh, when you, if you have a hard landing or anything like that, it's gonna distribute the pressure of the motor mount through a larger area of the foam. I also occasionally will add a carbon rod back here to prevent flex. And underneath this black tape, there's a carbon rod this way and this way. You don't want it to flex right here. Um, if you get in a high speed dive or, or something like that, the you can get this wobbling and uh, to prevent that you're going to want carbon the length of the body this way also these are the printable mounts that come with it so if you're landing on hard surfaces you can tell i've been doing a lot of road landings and you'll want to uh, use those especially if you're doing doing those landings i've got i've been flying this plane here for maybe close to two years about a year and a half uh, you got air scoops this is an air scoop here camera roll I like to do offset to the side so I can have my battery up in the nose if needed um, these are just mounts the motor mount is a nice uh, nice one as well I I did not design this motor mount 
Um, I can't remember who who did it, who originally made it. Um, I've shared it with the files so that they can all be grouped together. Um, guides, control horns, and that's pretty much it. There's also an alternate, uh, uh, some bracing you can add here. A lot of people add that to keep some rigidity to the tail. Um, not required, but it's kind of nice to have. I have used it on some of my, my stingrays. That's the stingray. Um, easy to launch. You can hand launch it from the chair. Sitting down, they just stick right into the air with a little bit of power. The other item that's really important is the high KV motor, which I think we did talk about. It's a 2200 KV motor and a 6 by 4 inch prop. APC is probably my favorite performing one. However, this is a, a very durable... Uh, prop that is a six by four, but it's it's more durable when I'm landing on the on the road So that's what I typically have been using Anyway, just get out there do some flying and I hope you guys can enjoy the stingray as much as I have and We'll see you in the skies. Thanks A little windy today. So the nice thing about this thing, Ray, is you can fly this thing in wind. You'll get jostled around a little bit. It won't be as smooth as a calm day. However, you you will be able to fly it just fine. It, you'll, it could be bumpy. Uh, landings are not difficult either. You just do a flare. Um, and because of the, the prop canyon and and the way that the, the motor is right in front of the control surfaces, it provides a nice, it's a type of thrust vectoring. It, it, there's no other way to say it really, but uh, you can put it up in a high alpha with a little bit of power and uh, you can go slow and it'll go pretty fast. So we're up here in a little bit smoother air now. Um, I'm showing that uh, we're going about 20, miles an hour, 24 right here, 20, 28, 30, okay. Now if we come back, yeah, it says with the wind I'm going about 50 miles an hour. <laughs> so we're, we're headed back pretty quick. It is a very, very forgiving airplane. The stall characteristics is typically a nod forward. So we'll take it up here. I'm going to pull, keep pulling back and lowering the throttle at the same time. And uh, we're going four miles an hour, it says. But it'll, you'll get a little rock, but it's not going to tip on you. So we're just doing an elevator descent. That's full elevator up. It didn't, it, there was a slight stall there, knotted forward, but uh, nothing. That's what's so much fun about this plane is that it, once you get used to it, it really spoils you. Um, if you get and you try to fly another airplane like you do with a Stingray, you're going to get yourself in trouble. But it's it's just uh, every time I put on the goggles with this airplane, I just feel like I'm home. This is uh, probably my most comfortable airplane to fly FPV, in, and I'm just been super happy with it. That's why I want to share this with everybody. The the files are all free. Um, the cut files and uh, as well as all the STLs that I'm using. Well, I hope you enjoyed the Stingray as much as I do. Hope you get uh, post up your questions and your comments or any, anything about this. I'd uh, love to help out and uh, share this uh, fun FPV platform with everybody out there. And so thanks for watching and uh, come back. We'll be sharing more. <laughs>